Hello. So in this video, I will show you how to install Chocolate, the package manager on Windows 11. And uh, the first thing you want to consider is that you need to have at least Windows Desktop 10, 22H1 or above. Or if you are on a server, Windows Server 2012 or above. If you are working in the Azure Cloud, then you are also good with Windows Server 2008 R2. So there are many installations, installation types for uh, Chocolate, but in this tutorial I'll show the individual installation, which is the easier one to set up for private and the testing environment usage. But if again, if you're on a server, a production environment, uh, or you want to achieve uh, like automation with a PowerShell script, uh, you might want to consider the other installation types that Chocolate has to offer like with Ansible, uh, PowerShell script, etc. So the first thing that you want to do is to open your PowerShell as an administrator. So let's head, for instance, uh, here and uh, run as an administrator, the PowerShell. Uh, say yes uh, to whatever pops up. And uh, now from here, what you want to do is, first of all, understand if uh, you have a restricted execution policy with this command. If uh, you have the restricted settings, like in my case, then uh, uh, don't worry, it's normal. The point is that now we have to somehow bypass this restricted uh, uh, policy, and you have two ways to do so. The first one is to run uh, this kind of command. And this command, uh, if you run it, uh, will uh, uh, let PowerShell run any script that you will run from this terminal without having any restrictions. So this is not really, let's say, uh, a good way to do it. The, there is another way which is much more preferable and that will run only the process uh, that uh, will be launched by the script dedicated to Chocolate. Specifically, the process, the command to do it is this one. It is pretty much the same command from before, but with a bunch of parameters uh, added. Specifically and intuitively, uh, as you might have already understood, uh, this command will let uh, this script, this whole script, uh, run whatever the policy that is on your system. So what you want to do is, uh, this to copy this command, I will uh, put it in the comments section, and uh, then press enter and wait it to finish. I will also add the link to the script so that you can take a look at it so that um, you can make sure that no malware or whatever is inside the script and understand if it is actually uh, legit or not. Uh, now, uh, I am pretty confident with the script that I run because I had already tried this installation before. Uh, but if I mean, if you are curious or uh, uh, very meticulous, then it's a good practice to check everything you are about to install in your system. Anyways, if in like in my case everything uh, went smoothly, then you should be able to see that uh, the chocolate has been installed correctly. There are a bunch of warnings, but these are just because the script didn't find the folder where Chocolate A has been installed. You can at this point assume that you have installed Chocolate A correctly, but as a good practice, you can run Choco-H, and if you have this kind of output, then it means that the installation went well, and now you can start to install software. Just briefly, these are all the commands that, or better parameters, that Choco has uh, available. For instance, you can run the chocolate list 
to have a list of all the packages that have been installed on your system with Choco. In my case, uh, there's also there's only Chocolate for now, so it's correct to see this kind of output. Let's say I want to install Zoom in my system. I don't want I don't know why I would want that, but that's also a possibility. And uh, you can just run Choco, then install plus the name of the package and then press enter and it will install the uh, the software you can in this case press all a in my case to say yes to all the things that will come afterwards You can see that it will install the MSI for the software and then proceed with the installation. You can also see that it popped up here and uh, it means that the installation is going flawlessly. Okay, so Zoom has been installed, I just had to press enter in the end. And uh, yeah, this is also one other thing. You can also have some logs related to the installation. So uh, also that is very useful if you have to do some troubleshooting. And uh, after this parenthesis, uh, I hope that this guide has been useful to you. And if so, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Cheers.